Let us now welcome the end part of our presentations this morning, our missionaries from Samoa. such a good God to us, and we greet our wonderful visitors with us today, our minister, your beautiful wife, and to all our special guests with us, to our friends, to our families, and especially the, those that are joining us live stream today. Last week's lesson called to proclaim, Jesus made a proclamation in his hometown last week. He continued his preaching and teaching despite the opposition he faced from his hometown. As his disciples, we are called to proclaim also and to preach, to teach, to heal, to deliver, to comfort, to rebuild, and to serve others as believers, as Jesus' disciples. Hence our lesson today called to significance. Jesus is continuing his ministry into other cities to preach the kingdom of God. Jesus is expressing that he is just not called to one area, but going throughout all the area of Judea, leaving Capernaum to Decapolis and now near Lake Gesserit, also known as the Sea of Galilee, where he meets the crowds of people. Our text, Luke 5, 1 to 3, on teaching. And it came to pass, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Jezreel and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them 
and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust down a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Jesus started his ministry in Galilee. His ministry was backed with signs and wonders. The people wanted to hear the word of God. They were amazed by the grace and the authority of his words. Jesus wasn't just to preach in the synagogue and temples, but Jesus went out to where the people were to preach and to teach. Jesus used a boat to preach and he moved from the shore, from the crowds, so they can concentrate on hearing and the teaching of God's word. The miracle in verse chapter five, verses four to seven. And now he had left speaking. He said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draw. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Jesus finishes his teaching and asks Simon to launch out, let down your nets. But Simon explained that they had fished all night and they already cleaned the nets. And when he came to, before he came to preach and teach, and probably frustrated and tired, but decided to do what was asked by Jesus. And when he had done this, they enclosed in a great multitude of fish and their nets break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were on the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sink. It takes two boats to pull in the fish in the nets. Their nets were near tearing. And when they put the fish in the boats, they almost were ready to sink. They nodded to those on the land, come and help get these fish and boats safely to the shore. And our final part of our lesson today, the commitment in Luke 5, 8 to 11. And when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees at Jesus' knees and saying, depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Simon Peter recognizes that Jesus is no ordinary preacher or teacher, but he is the anointed one, the divine. And Simon had a feeling of unworthiness and fear. In verse nine and 10, for he was astonished and all that were with him at the draw of the fish which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to the land, they forsook all and followed him. Jesus assures them and calms their fears and speaks to them about their future. Fishers of fish to fishers of men. These fishermen received callings, Simon to evangelism and James and John to a commitment to follow Jesus. What can we take from this beautiful lesson today called to significance? Meaning worthy of attention, it's of importance. We need to understand just how valued and deeply loved we are by the Lord Jesus. He sees our potential and how he can use our gifts and talents in the building up of the kingdom of God. Due to commitments to jobs, to family, to careers, financial commitments we've gotten ourselves into, not everyone has the ability to just drop everything and make a total commitment to follow Jesus. We can't all go on the mission field or leave extensively or an extended time for travel. Jesus can make other ways for us where we can still be used to serve him and get the gospel of the Lord to the lost. Jesus took the gospel out to the people and we have to learn to share the gospel in unexpected places, not just in comfortable buildings and in sitting in pews. We see in the lesson, Jesus doesn't evaluate people by the way the world does. 
he perceives and evaluates them, Jesus looks on the heart and on those who are willing to follow him. We are servant followers, willing to serve, willing to follow. So God, God is calling us into a life of significance. When making commitments to God, we need to choose ways that we can be most consistent and honest towards the things of God until God enables us to commit to doing more and to more and more things that he's going to have us do. Hallelujah. So what a blessing and a privilege to be called to significance by our Savior. He sees your potential. Make yourself available for this beautiful new year, 2021. May God bless us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Give one more hand of praise to the Lord for that beautiful summary from our mama. Amen. Right now, let me um, take this time to ask those who came of age or celebrating uh, an anniversary to please, this is our time to celebrate that uh, uh, important event with you. So if you came of age during this week, from Monday to Sunday, we invite you to come to the front, give your little testimony, and we're going to praise the Lord with you. Anybody, anybody, praise the Lord. We've got one coming up. Psalms 90 verse 12 says, Lord, teach us to number our days that we may apply wisdom to those days. Amen. So praise the Lord, Mama Tina. Lots of wisdom here. Praise the Lord, saints. Giving honor to God for he's the head of my life. Honor to God for he's the head of my family. My name is Christina Hosking Meliokirka. I was born to James and Kopu Hosking on the 5th of January, 1950. And last Tuesday, I turned three score and 11. Praise the Lord, 71 years. So I give all glory and honor to God for he's the head of my life, for the ups and downs in life that through it all, God spoke to me. And I saw God's creation, how God created. I thank God for Papa Bishop who opened the revelation to the word of God. Amen. When he was pastoring in Titicavaca, I gave my life to the Lord in 1982, but I came to the apostolic church in 1988. So one word that describes my life is in Romans chapter eight, where it says, all things worketh for good to them that love the Lord. And that is very true. The good, the bad, and the ugly things that we go through, all things work together for them, for good to them that love the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Uh, my name is Matisha Joanna Dotu, and on the 8th of the 1st, 2001, myself and my, twin, uh, my twin sister were born into this world, and on Friday we turned 20 years old. I like to praise and honor God for He is the head of my life. I like to praise and honor God for our dear pastor, mother of the church, for his family, and all of you saints. I like to praise and honor God for my parents that's overseas, back home in Wellington and back in Perth, um, for their many encouragements, their teaching, and most especially their love towards my sister and I. I like to praise and honor God for my dear husband Tino, and also our two daughters, Tumana and Miro, that never fails to um, remind me of the responsibility that I have as a wife and also as a mother but most especially for keeping me on my toes and reminding me of how loved I am. i like to praise and honor God for my parents that's here, for mom and dad, our older kids, Māori, Andy and Inna, and also Camellia and Temata, and also this faith for also reminding me um, of how to be as a wife and also in this family. i like to praise and honor God for all things that he's doing in my life. Amen. Um, good morning, church. My name is Taita Marko Dosiana Mani. And I am the oldest twin of, uh, <laughs> of Matisha Dotu. And um, yep, like she testified, we turned 20 years old on Friday. And um, I'd like to praise and honor God for everything that we've been through, uh, both together and as individuals. Um, I'd also like to praise and honor God for my family, both in Wellington and in Perth, and also over here in Rairo. Um, I'd like to also praise and honor God for, um, I believe my sister has been my guardian angel since day dot. Uh, since the womb, and I'd like to praise and honor him for everything that 
you know, he has blessed us with. Um, as well as, I do believe if it wasn't for my sister, um, I would not be here uh, many, many times. Um, and I'd also like to praise and honour him for giving me the opportunity to see her grow up, um, turning into a very young, beautiful woman, um, a woman of God, and also a beautiful wife, as well as a really loving, caring mother to my beautiful nieces as well. Um, I'd like to praise and honour God for everything, as well as you guys. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. I give honour and praise to God for He's the head of my life. I thank Him and praise Him that on the 4th of January 2020, um, we welcomed into our lives the Matho Taiti Tautu um, via C section at 3:53 a.m. at Middlemore Hospital. I thank Him and praise Him um, that although she was two weeks overdue and one week shy of our wedding anniversary, I give honour and praise to Him for the life that he has brought upon her. I thank him and praise him. For my dear husband, Joseph and Sydney, and her father, I thank him and praise him um, for the support that he gives us, that although we're not able to be together as a family during this time due to COVID, I thank him and praise him. Um, for, he's, for it's been a blessing in disguise having us here. I thank him and praise him that um, I, will, I am able to raise my daughter. I thank him and praise him for yeah. the strength that he gives me each and every day to attend to her every needs. I give honor and praise to him also that um, she's able to grow up with two grandparents by her side, two great grand, or two sets of grandparents, two sets of great grandparents, and one great great grandmother sitting here in church. I give honor and praise to him for he's a mighty good God to us. I thank him and praise him for the joy that she brings in my life and my husband's yes. life. And in all our lives, I give honor and praise to him for our church family here, for your continuous prayers towards my little family. I thank him and praise him also for our families overseas. I give honor and praise to him that he's a mighty good God in our lives. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Church, let's be outstanding as we sing the birthday song and congratulations to our sweet ladies here.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing me. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing your people. You are our God, creator, savior, healer, love of our souls. We praise and worship you today for you know us, our individual hearts, our needs. You know how to break through the difficulties in our lives. We choose not to be overwhelmed by our situations, but to behold your beauty and greatness in our service today. Make your presence known in our lives. Remove distractions that keep us from your presence. Take away any lukewarmness in our hearts and set us on fire for you, Lord, as we seek your face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Friends, church, let us prepare our hearts for our tithes and offering this morning. Can I ask everybody to be please be upstanding? Praise the Lord, saints. It's tithes and offering time as the word of God declares in the book of Corinthians. The Old Testament, the Lord made it clear that God wanted his people to give him the first tenth of their wealth to show their obedience and trust in him to provide for their needs. When Jesus came, he made it clear that he loves a generous heart. So whatever the amount, you should honor the Lord with your wealth so that his work on earth can boldly carry on. To our visitors in church, you're not obligated to give, but if your heart desires, come and be blessed.
Father, we love you, we appreciate you. We thank you for your giving spirit upon thy people to give freely and humbly and cheerfully out of the abundance of their lives. We thank you for their jobs. We thank you for their families. We thank you, Lord, for every area of their lives where you have blessed them abundantly. In the name of Jesus, we love you. We thank you, Lord. Together, everyone, we say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tatoka Totoa. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Uh, let us give a, a big, huge hand of applause. There are many little tattoo to a not a mother tattoo. One of the little tattoo. What you are a deep open. Amen. We appreciate God for what He's doing. Praise the Lord. Uh, firstly, um, to our uh, visitors, this is notices time. And firstly, we are having lunch after our service here. Yeah. Prepared especially for each and every one of you. Please, from our dear Bishop, our dear Mama, and the members of the Apostolic Church, do join us for lunch. Uh, the group to serve our lunch, Amen. The Praise the Lord. The groups who are serving our lunch, Apostles Matthew and Mark. Amen. And the group to clean the dishes after the lunch will be Apostles Andrew, John, and Deacon Stephen. Hallelujah. That's James, Matthew, and Mark. Your service is also required for the preparation of our hospitality ministry with uh, Elder Tony Media straight after our lunch. Praise the Lord. Now, saints, uh, just this message has gone on the loop, but for the sake of of our mamas that are not on the loop. This is a church catering this coming Wednesday morning for the yeah, no team, amen. You just don't know the work they do behind there. Hallelujah. At this moment, um, at this time, let me to uh, let me introduce or welcome our dear bishop to the pulpit. And please let's be upstanding to give him the due hallelujah. Praise the Lord everyone. Turn to your neighbor and say neighbor. Good to see you in church today. I know Jesus is smiling on you. And me too. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you. Amen. Glory to God. Allow me at this time to just uh, acknowledge uh, our dear First Lady, my own dear wife, uh, Mother Perry, for that beautiful summary about Sunday school. Hallelujah. Our dear Mama in the Takaro and the Takaro family, Pokarakaradoratu. We have a 91 year old Mama right here. She's the youngest in church. That's Mama Tapu, the grandmother of that uh, baby daughter that came forward today, each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Uh, bear with me. I'd like to just uh, make a brief comment. This is our hospitality taking every second Sunday of the month since 1998. We hadn't failed bringing food items, started off small, few, until today, well into over 100 uh, homesteads all around Rarotonga, uh, elderly people, aged people, and uh, destitute people, where two of our uh, servants in the church uh, go these, back them up after church. When you've all uh, left, we will back them up into uh, smaller bags and distribute them tomorrow all around Rarotonga to people whose names and age been uh, given to us. Hallelujah. As a few passes on, new ones are added to the list as we. So our major sponsors are uh, Super Brown Store. Give a big hand of praise to God if Papa Taoro and Mama uh, Rose is uh, hearing and listening. We appreciate your token of gift uh, to this hospitality ministry. Not forgetting, of course, she's uh, still in Mangaya, Mama Aggie, member of parliament for Yuvirua. She's another major sponsor. <laughs> Hallelujah, she don't fail. When she goes, she's already delivered. And uh, of course, our Tepuka store, Papa Ria and Mama Rose, Kairua. God bless you, God bless you. As we go through our two, to the needle, the needle, the needle store, the needle store, uh, business leader, Papa Junior and Mama Twede uh, Manuela, hallelujah, they also contribute to this. And not forgetting, of course, uh, Brother Kibi, hallelujah, Kibi, 
Maduera and uh, his wife, uh, Mata, they too uh, contribute towards this uh, hospitality ministry. And only last night I added to the list Tex Mat of Arorangi. Hallelujah. Has come on board to support this hospitality ministry. Every second Sunday we do this. But added to it, we have a 32 channel mixer and uh, about 20 cables. Uh, finally, thank you, Jesus. I had always uh, uh, desired for one set kept in the church and not moved at all. Uh, when we go out to public ministry, out in the community, we don't shift and take it off and come back. It'll do damage. Like last Sunday at the Nikau, our 32 channel conked out. So we had to uh, look for some assistance and help that God, uh, somebody offered, and uh, we were able to continue our ministry. No one knew about it. Hallelujah. But we got a brand new one, just arrived last Friday. Hallelujah. 32 channels. So it'll be stationed in the church, and the other one, when it's ready, will be used in the community and the set of wires. And still there, uh, uh, praying for new sets of microphones. Hallelujah. Real ones. Uh, with a one brand. So everyone is in accord. What we have right now, all different brands. They have to uh, adjust uh, differently, different frequency. That's why sometimes they argue because they don't agree. Even these microphones, they, they fight when it's not uh, set properly. So here they are. They're with me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We're going to dedicate this to the Lord. Everything that is brought to the Lord is uh, dedicated. Thank you, Jesus. According to your word, whatsoever we do in word and deed, do all in the name of Jesus. I anoint these with oil in the name of Jesus and all the hospitality taking for this month of January, New Year 2021. We pray for your blessing, pray for your anointing upon all these food items that's been contributed towards this uh, hospitality ministry and will be distributed to the community, to every home, all around Rorotonga. In the name of Jesus, our age, our destitute and uh, fatherless and widows and widowers, Lord, the less vulnerable, hallelujah, the uh, most vulnerable and less fortunate in our community. We love you, Lord. In doing so, we're doing it to you. As often as you've done it to me, you've done it to them, you have done it to me. Thank you, Lord. And we pray for your blessing upon this uh, mixed up 42, 32 channels and uh, hallelujah cables to go with it and others to follow. In your name, Jesus, bless our ministry both in the church and out in the community that it may go forth and declare and proclaim salvation that souls may be saved in Jesus. All of God's people say, Amen. Amen. I'd like to acknowledge and uh, I see uh, in the back there, our, our dear son, uh, Sam, Sam, I can see you. Hallelujah. You can't hide because you're tall. Hallelujah. And uh, your team uh, mate, hallelujah. I read about uh, the good works that you've done. Hallelujah. Vivian, uh, Sam, uh, Vivian, hallelujah. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we salute and uh, commend you for being of help and support and assistance to our prison ministry and uh, corrective service. Hallelujah. Uh, we also have with us uh, families, spouses, and children of our sons uh, here in church. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. It's a very important time of our service uh, each Sunday. For those of you that have just joined us on live stream, it is now our Bible questions and answers time where we are hopefully going to be able to answer the questions that you have posed uh, either directly to Antinani or myself or to Bishop. Bishop, the first question that we have asks, what happens when we die or what happens after death? What a question to ask in the first uh, uh, term of the new year. Eh? But it's the most important one because we want to be sure that uh, our life is worth living from 1st January to the 31st of December, all the days of our life. Hallelujah. Nothing most uh, 
and disheartening when we do not know where we're heading to, where we've come from, and where we are right now. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Many people are dying by the millions, by the billions, for lack of knowledge. Not knowing Jesus is the way to the kingdom of God. That's why we all need to deploy ourselves and uh, get this gospel out before someone dies and lose out altogether, out of ignorance. So the Bible in Hebrews 9.27 tells us, and as it is appointed, hallelujah, unto men once to die, we die once, hallelujah. Come on, Jess. But after this, the judgment. Okay, what's awaiting is judgment. We'll all be facing judgment according to the word of God. But our next question should be, uh, what happens at judgment? Again, the Bible has answer to everything. It says in the book of Revelation 20, 11 to 15, bear with me. Judgment is self-explanatory. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. There was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were open. Books were open. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. The sea gave up the dead which were in them. The dead and hell delivered up. Those who are already down in hell will be delivered up. And they were judged every, according, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Listen to this very carefully. It didn't talk about you. It didn't talk about us. But death and hell, which is Satan alone, and the, uh, the damned angels who uh, rebelled against God, they were cast into hell. But because man chose to follow the ways of Satan and the ways of wrong and the ways of God, they too follow. So those are the consequences. When we make the wrong choices. So death and hell was, were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. We have two deaths. Physically, we die. We stand up to judgment. And then we cast into the lake of fire. Because we chose the path uh, of opposition, uh, adversaries and contrary to the will of God. That's the second death. And that's forever, eternity. And whosoever was not found, written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. If our names don't appear in the book of life, in other words, we never chose to follow Jesus, we never made a wise decision to be born again of the water of the Spirit, led by the Spirit of God, then we're in the lake of fire. Here's a further question to be asked. How many books were open and what are they? The Bible once again more specifically explains, clarifies that there will be five books. I taught this at prison. I've taught this at Nika and all over the Cook Islands and Samoa everywhere. Five books open by which all who stand shall stand before the great white throne of judgment shall be judged based upon what they had done in this life. The first book is the, uh, the Word of God. Hallelujah. The one at the bottom should be first, bear with me. Then the book of thoughts. Then the book of words. Every idle words from our mouth. Every thoughts that's been transpiring within our minds. And, and book of works, everything that we have done. From this job to that job to that profession, that career, at home and everywhere. Seen, not seen, known, unknown. The Word. Hallelujah. Lastly, the gospel of Jesus Christ. One last, one last question. What happens to those whose names were found and written in the book of life? Again, the Bible speaks for itself as written in Revelation 19 at verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath a part in the first resurrection. What is this first resurrection? The rapture. This is for the church. We better make sure we're ready for the rapture when the calling comes. Come on, my people. Boom. In the twinkling of an eye, we meet the Lord in the air, in the clouds. Hallelujah. So, those are the ones whose names 
uh, were found in the book of life. Those names can be deleted. It can be taken off every time we sin, rebel God, and fall short of his glory. That name is removed. You have removed it. Nobody else. Satan won't remove it. You remove it yourself. It's your freedom of choice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed and holy, the first resurrection on such the second death. Okay, the spiritual death has no power, no dominion over it. But they're going to physical. And uh, before the judgment, you've already been raptured. Only those unsaved and lost will stand the judgment. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, shall reign with him a thousand years. Since I've given the uh, scriptures, because there are people out there asking questions, show us the scripture. Then we will believe. We go by the word. And the word don't lie. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jess. Can I have those uh, scriptures? Just a quick peek into the five books mentioned. The book of the word of God. Okay, from Genesis to Revelation. It is canonized. This is holy scripture. 66. From Genesis to Revelation. No other book shall be added. Because these are certified as uh, free of witchcraft, free of sorcery, free of uh, heresy, free of uh, apostasy, and free of anything ungodly. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words from, Reve from Genesis through Revelation hath one that judgeth him or her. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him and her in the last day. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let me add to that. Matthew, uh, John 5, 39. Jesus says, search the scriptures. In them you think you have eternal life. They are they which testify of me. This is where a lot of people miss the mark. They study Genesis through Revelation. They establish their own interpretation, their own and uh, righteousness and so forth. They forget, they miss the bullseye, the bullseye Jesus. Read Genesis, that's me. Exodus, that's me. Through the New Testament to Revelation, it's all about me. Search, you think you have eternal life? They are they which testify of me. In other words, I'm the author, I'm the creator, I'm the finisher of your faith. The author and finisher of our faith. Without me, you can do nothing. So whatever Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man gets to the Father, but by me, that's it, final. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, number two, a book of thoughts here. Which show the work of the Lord written in their hearts, their conscience, also bearing witness at their thoughts, the mean while accusing or excusing one another in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according. It's all in there, but it's all transparent before God. And he'll replay back to you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Number three, the book of words. But I say unto you that every idle word, whatever we throw upon our children, upon our mama, upon our papa, upon our boss, and anybody else, any idle word, hallelujah, uh, that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. We have confession in the church. I can't believe that the saints still can't stop their swearing. They still testify. Sorry, sorry. How long are you going to be sorry? When you go down to your grave, you're going to say sorry. The dead don't praise the Lord. It's too late. Hallelujah. Yeah, at the drop of a hat, you can say, boom, last one. Cut. Whatever might happen. You can still control it. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Now I go now I Can we say amen? Book number four. The book of works. Everything you do. Every work. On the computer. Hallelujah. Deceived and being deceived, it's all recorded and give account. You'll have nothing, absolutely nothing to say against and say it's false because you'll be shown on it. He got video too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
And lastly, the book of the gospel, the good news. That's why it's called the good news. Going into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth the gospel and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. So don't listen to people. It's in the word of God. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. It is identification. Baptism is identifying ourselves is the death, the burial, and the resurrection. And like as Christ was raised, so are we raised to walk in newness of life. Those are the five books, and those are the scriptural references for anybody who wants to go in. Those are the five books. And then the book of life. When you have your Holy Ghost, your name is written, inscribed, sealed unto the day of redemption. That's another lesson uh, to go through i'll come and bring that lesson in due time we're going to revive our teaching back again in nikau shortly this is a busy week for us we have two caterings wednesday and saturday so lord's will the following we uh, reverse back thank you sir thank you bishop and thank you to the person that wrote that question in a few lines although might sound um, insignificant to those that wrote uh, that particular question, the answers will probably prompt a few more questions as well. Bishop, thank you. Thank you, Tato Katoto. Hallelujah. Before we bring the uh, message for the day, allow me to uh, introduce a special uh, item dedicated to the Lord, to our guests and our visitors. Hallelujah. I was so touched as I went around uh, the island, visiting the home groups and uh, able to whoever I stopped by. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, coming, Johnny. Which is my goto? The chicken, the the clock. Let's watch this drama, and uh, it's for all of us. If this 
anyone out there who can relate to what you are about to see, know that there's still one more door that's still waiting for you to walk through.
tonight. Hallelujah. It's a family night. Bring your uh, families along and then uh, celebrate and enjoy Jesus all together. Hallelujah. Now at this time to top it all off with a beautiful uh, message is their own leader, our elder Nehemiah Kaida. 
Hallelujah. To come and uh, bring a uh, short and brief message. Thank you. Praise the Lord, people of God. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah. Let's get straight into our message for this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our text is found in the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 9. Hallelujah. And he was three days without sight, and neither did eat nor drink. Hallelujah. Look to your neighbor next to you and say, Neighbor, our theme for this morning is unusual shit. Or me again, unusual Shifts. Hallelujah. Glory. The 1st of January 2020 saw us start the year with some damages to coastal residents and resorts caused by a passing tropical cyclone Sarai. Then came the COVID pandemic in February 2020, Woo! taking the world by the root. Who would have known that what was once normal will become abnormal? People were unable to travel. People were either unable to go to work or lost their job. People were unable to meet and greet with hug or kiss. So it was just away from the distance. Sitting in church, in church was not allowed. Sitting together was not allowed. So we have to sit a meter or a two meters apart. Amen? In public gatherings were reduced from 300 to 10 people. Families and loved ones could not say goodbye to sick family members on their dying bed or even permitted to bury their loved ones. So everything seems to be going downhill and the future was uncertain. At a time like this, people of God, when everything seems to be getting worse and it doesn't look like there is a chance of it ever improving. Many would ask, where is God? Why is there so much suffering? Why can't things just go back to normal the way it used to be? Well, business was good and we were making a lot of money. Woo! People of God, the unusual shifts in the world today, the strange and abnormal changes happening in our lives today. It's not to cause us to give up or to stop praying. It's not, it is not to cripple or to stop you, amen? But rather to push you and elevate you to a level that God decided you to be at. Whether it's your job, your family, relationship, or ministry. You know, many times we get too comfortable in our comfort zone. We keep to each other or we create our own little groups. In life, people of God, doors were closed so that God can open a new, bigger doors. In the book of Acts, the Spirit of God filled the house where they were sitting, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And spoken of by the prophet Joel, it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your men will see vision, and old men shall dream dreams. Can I hear some amen? amen? Hallelujah. An unusual shift is taking place in the life of the disciples who were once fishermen but are now become fishers of men. The disciples went out baptizing souls in Jesus' name, healing the sick, 
delivering those possessed with demons, performing miracles and wonders throughout the land. Woo! Then came Saul, a persecutor of Christians, causing hell and turmoil in the church. He had with him letters from authorities allowing him to arrest every Christian, woman and man, and put them in jail. So as Saul was traveling near Damascus, a light shone around him from heaven. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. So those around were speechless. They could hear a voice, but could not see anyone. So when Saul arose, his eyes were open, but he could not see anyone. So he was three days without sight, and neither did he eat or drink. So people of God, Saul, later known as Paul, amen, his encounter with the Lord caused an unusual shift in his life that led him to stop persecuting Christians and become a follower of Jesus Christ. He was physically abused, jailed, and attacked repeatedly for preaching the gospel message. But God picked him to proclaim Jesus as savior of the world. God picked him a man who hates all that Jesus stands for. A man who went into the houses of Christians and dragged them out to be imprisoned. So this man, Paul, became God's chosen vessel to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen? Indeed, God works in mysterious ways. So if things were remained smooth in our lives with no turbulence, no earthquake, our position would not have changed. Amen? You see, when things are going great, our level of trusting God, our level of worshiping becomes stagnant because everything is good and life is good. But the real test comes when, like the drama Alex, when the money is short, when your child is dying, when the food cup is empty. The real test comes when someone you love walked away, when you are diagnosed with a sick that cannot be cured. The real test comes when the normal becomes Abnormal. When the common becomes uncommon, when the possible becomes impossible, what do you do? Saints, people of God, the unfair treatment, the struggle, the difficult times comes not to stop you, but to prosper you. Amen. Know that God is in the background setting you up for greatness. To push and promote you, to shift you to bigger and greater things. God is shifting you from weakness to strength. God designed us to grow and mature in our spirit. To increase in faith and maximize spiritually in all we do for the ministry. God placed the right people in your life to encourage you, pray for you, and direct you to higher ground. When God directs and orders your step, He cancels our past failures and mistakes. He then transforms us to become new creatures and equip us for our calling. Amen? The Bible tells us that Jesus came to this world not to condemn us, but He came so that we may have abundance of life. God desires all of mankind to repent and be saved. 
Don't think that our situation is too difficult. Praise the Lord. That God cannot fix. He can take that which is broken and shed and put it all back together. Again, peace by peace. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost took an unusual shift in the life of the believers of the day of Pentecost. The Spirit, the Spirit of God dwelled in mankind, empowering the disciples to perform miracles to cause a shift in the life of the individual. So the healing, the deliverance, the anointing, and the power. Praise the Lord. So in conclusion, brothers and sisters, people of God, a fresh start is possible. Be a partaker and let Jesus know. Our theme says, unusual shift. Praise the Lord. Thank you, preacher. Hallelujah. We are truly honored and blessed and privileged this morning. We have souls for salvation. People who didn't wait for an altar call, who didn't wait for any message to be preached, didn't wait for any congregation or audience to witness, they've already purposed in their heart. Today is my day. This hour is my hour, and this moment is my moment. Our secretary, Dai Joseph, uh, handed me a list of 13 people confirmed with their names written to go through their watery grave through water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I would like to salute those of your spouses. If you have a spouse and family member in church today, I salute you because I believe it's a two-way decision. He didn't take just on his own accord, but in agreement with the two and the family. I salute you all in joining this service to witness of this great event. The Bible says, no man cometh to me except the Father draws. It's not Bishop Bennett. It's not anybody else. We may be the voice of the preacher. We may be the mind delivering the word in every time we have visited you. But it was God that touched and moved your heart towards him because salvation is only found in him not in bishop not in the church not in anybody else they are but voices crying out in the wilderness like john the baptist prepare ye the way of the lord preachers witnesses testifiers proclaiming salvation in jesus but god changes the heart i heard our sunday school uh, uh, presenter summarize and say God does not look on the outside but on the inside that I don't see nobody else can see in your inside but God alone I read in the news media some people despise and say and uh, what good will come out of those people those people that's exactly what one man said when Jesus approached can anything good come out of Nazareth? Because that, where Jesus was raised in Nazareth, anything good gonna come out of Nazareth? Anything good gonna come out of Hollywood? Anything good can come out of Otara, South Auckland? So there are certain localities in the world, like the Bronx, look down, despise, ugly. But the verse says, Come and see. Ooh. Come and see. Just come and see. No sin is too big that the Lord can't bear. No filth is too dirty that the Lord can clean. No standard is too low that he cannot lift. No road is too windy and too rocky that he cannot smooth, that he cannot straighten up. Only God can. So I'm going to invite them. those men whose names appear. I'm going to deal with them first before we confuse the whole thing. Amen. 
Hallelujah. You may come stand. I'll lead you through the prayer of salvation. But if your family wants to join you and desires to be with the one they love, by all means, it's your choice. It's between you and God. Salvation is an individual choice. It is personal. Not between you and bishop and your church. It's between you and God. Hallelujah. Make that choice. Make that most important resolution for 2021. Give your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyway. Anyway. If you didn't quite make up your mind, but right now you feel God is speaking to you, nothing is preventing, nothing is stopping you. Step forward. Be counted, be included. Hallelujah. Even those of the families. Hallelujah. Anybody? Come on, elders. Come on, come around. Come around. Hallelujah. The towels are ready. Everything is ready. It may take us a little long. Just bear with us. I wish we could just take you down the beach. One go. 20, go. 100, one go. But, hallelujah. We're taking caution. And we do it right here. In the presence of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Brothers, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. We embrace you in the love of Jesus. This is not our doing. It is the Lord's. And it is marvelous before our own eyes. This is the greatest gift that anybody can ever receive in life and as it is in heaven the gift of salvation in Jesus this is the only one miracle in the whole Bible it will be given a standing ovation hosts of angels rise up to the occasion over one sinner that repents it's not the healing of the sick it's not the raising of the dead it's not the deliverance of any demonic possessed person, but souls snatch out of the mouth of the lion, say that. Snatch out of the pit of hell. Snatch out of hell and death. Promoted, graduated, translated to the kingdom of God. I want you to say this prayer after me. You close your eyes, let your heart speak to God. Hear my voice and make it yours. In the name of Jesus, by your conviction and the conversion of your heart, the convincement of your mind. Say this prayer, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me from all evil. I repent. Of all my sins. Accept me Lord. I want to be born again. According to your word. Born of the water. Which is baptism. In the name of Jesus. And of the spirit. Which is getting filled. With the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. Lord. Perform this over me and inside of me. Fill me with your spirit that I may be a light and a lamp in my home, in my family, in my community, wherever you shall send me. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I honor you. I glorify your name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for. Hallelujah. We have a room over there. Some men will assist them and prepare. All right. There. Once ready, we're going to bring them one by one. Congregation, just bear. 
I'll send them in to get themselves ready and open for anybody else who may come. Hallelujah. We'll pray for you too. Follow the elder. Hallelujah. Yes. If you brought your change, praise the Lord for that. There's towel there if you have your own. Appreciate that. Take him prepared. Wow, take him prepared. Hallelujah. We are a prepared people for a prepared place. Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you. And then I will come again. God bless you. Now, inviting anybody else. Hallelujah. Let's give a, a, a standing ovation for those who want to come up to my dado. Come on, saints. Come on. Hallelujah. To my to the three and the three one to the other my daughter, my daughter, Aki Yesu. Hallelujah. Our dear minister, I salute him and his uh, wife. Their sons and family all came and received the plan of salvation. They're done. Our own QR. Papa Tom, Mama Twin, the whole sons and daughters gave their lives to Jesus. So God is moving in a big, mighty way. Hallelujah. And this is that time. So be counted. You're coming to Jesus. We'll pray for you. We'll prepare you. Hallelujah. Come. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Tai, where are you? Oh, back there. David, Say the prayer. Father Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this time, for this momentous event, O Lord Jesus, as we go through the baptism of your soul, O Lord Jesus, for your kingdom. Bless us, Father Jesus, we pray. Amen. 
Your one and final law, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your faith, your trust, and confidence, it is death, burial, and resurrection. We now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins in accordance to Holy Scripture, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Next, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Holy Scripture and you will receive the precious gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. Brother Trevor, 
By the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus, your confidence, your trust and faith in his death, burial and resurrection, we now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Fill me with the Spirit. Oh, fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. In Jesus' name. Take me to the water. 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 In Jesus' name. Brother Jeremiah Sadler, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your confidence, your trust and faith in his death and burial and resurrection, we indeed baptize you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. By the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your confidence, your trust and faith in his death, burial and resurrection, we indeed baptize you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Holy Scripture, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Fill me with the Spirit. Oh, fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. In Jesus' name. Baptize me. Baptize me with water. Baptize me with water. Baptize me with water. In Jesus' name. Brother Elisa Shabaru, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your confidence, your faith, your trust in his death, burial, and resurrection, we indeed baptize you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. He you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. In Jesus' name. Take me to the water. Take, take me, me to the water. water. Oh, take, take me, me to the water. water. Oh, take, take me to the water. In Jesus' name. Malachi, Malachi, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your faith, your confidence, your trust in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we indeed baptize you right now in the name of Jesus according to Holy Scripture, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen.
this is Christian Goodwin, Navis husband. Praise the Lord. Brother Christian Goodwin, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your confidence, your faith, your trust in his death, burial, and resurrection, we now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Spirit. In Jesus' name. Baptize me with water. Oh, baptize me with water. Baptize me with water. In Jesus' name. Brother Ngatita Nevano, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus, your confidence, your trust, your faith in his death, burial, and resurrection, we indeed baptize you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. According to Holy Scripture, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Fill me with the Spirit. Fill me with the Our singer, our composer, our musician, hallelujah, Jonathan, hallelujah, Jonathan Elisa, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus, your faith, your trust, your confidence in death, burial, and resurrection, we indeed baptize you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Junior Pella, by the confession of your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your confidence, your trust, your faith in his death, burial, and resurrection, we now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, the name that every knee shall bow one day and declare he is Lord and Lord of all. We now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins, according to Holy Scripture, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Our last candidate. Our last candidate. Give a round of applause. Roar. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Five already received the Holy Ghost in there. Hallelujah. I believe the rest will receive this if they don't rush on the food. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give another big hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. While they are getting themselves changed. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Then we will uh, join with them as we uh, share meal. Tatoboro, 
Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Father, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you for the gathering of thy people that you have brought us all here today, the new souls Lord, that you have ushered into your kingdom. As we leave, we pray for your continuing divine touch upon our lives. As you increase, that we may decrease. This we ask and pray. In thy mighty and wonderful name, Jesus, we pray. Yes, and amen. Everybody say yes. yes. Hallelujah. Grab a hand. Be a quiet. I'm going to do it. So make them feel comfortable. Welcome. Warm. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm going to do it. The boys are yet to come.